Hey y'all, I'm going to show you how you can finish up your cartoon mashup. So I have finished my cartoon here, but I want to merge all of those different layers that I had put together into one so I can move my Lisa Wilma Wonder Woman around as one solid object. You want to pay attention on your right hand side where it says layer and you want to move that to the tip top um, above everything. So when I hit the Wilma Flintstone layer here, my top one, and please do make certain if you're on something like this, um, a lot of you have noticed um, have parts that look like this with really crazy lines going on. If you see the, something like that, I need to put this behind, her legs behind. So if I'm doing that, then I hit um, send backwards. And what that will do is it will put the layer that's in front of it on top of it. So please make certain that your layers look nice, that it looks seamless, that you doesn't look like you just chopped up stuff and put it on top of each other, because that's one thing I will be grading you on. So um, from here, you are going to uh, click on the top layer and then uh, of what you want. I want to leave that big layer here. That's that background because I don't want to merge Lisa to the background because then I can't move her around. And then I'm going to hit merge down. What you'll notice is that Wilma's hair and Lisa have now merged together. And then I can hit that one more time. And now I have this as one nice layer together. So to find your images for the background, we're going to use royalty free images. That means images that the photographer or creator or drawer of them um, has given permission for you to use. I have put in Google Classroom a bunch of different examples for you. Um, the one I like the best is Pexels. You can search up top what you're looking for. Um, since we're making horizontal pictures, I recommend you use a horizontal picture right now. I downloaded two pictures from here. I downloaded this scene and this scene so I can show you how I can use two background layers. You can use just one if you want, but I just want to show you um, how you can kind of play around with that. So let me get started on that. So I'm going to add an image as a layer just the same way I did in the past. Um, oh, I'm going to start with this one first. And when I go and do that, it's going to take a minute as it takes a second for it to come on. This is huge, okay? So I wanna make it smaller. So I'm clicking around with it and I'm just clicking on it and bringing the corner here. I wanna to go to the corner. I don't wanna hit shift. Um, when I hit shift, it actually distorts it. I just wanna hit the corner and make it smaller. So I can keep bringing it on my page and making it smaller so it actually fits my page. Um, or else I have this weird stuff hanging off the edges, which you're not going to want. So I can go back in here and stretch this to fit my page. Um, I'm actually not gonna need it to fit the whole page, so I'm gonna put another background in here. So I'm gonna show you how I can um, play around with this. I'm going to clip it using the lasso tool. Um, I'm going to use this part, the polygon of the lasso tool. So I'll show you how to use that part. What's cool about that is you can make straight lines. Um, even though this line's a little bit of an angle, I don't have to go in there and make myself crazy because this picture is bigger than what I'm making the square around. You'll see that it will kind of shrink it down. And then I, just like we were doing before, I can hit delete and get rid of it. So now I have this cool wall in my piece. Um, I then will deselect. I'm going to add another image as a layer. So add an image as a layer choose that other one that I wanted to use. It will be put on top of this. So I will want to put this one. Um, I'm going to first up, I want to probably shrink this down a little bit too. look at it, see its size. Yep. Shrink it down so that it actually fits on here. And I will show you the last portion next. <laughs> 